Vincent William Van Gogh. Impressionist painter who posthumously became one of the most famous and influential figures in Western art history. In a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks, including 860 oil paintings, most of which date from the last two years of his life. It includes landscapes, stills, portraits, and self-portraits, characterized by bold colors and dramatic, impulsive, expressive brushwork that contributed to the foundations of modern art. What inspires me most is that Van Gogh could turn his madness into timeless art and coping. Pablo Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramicist, and theater designer who spent most of his adult life in France. Regarded as one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, he truly inspires me as an artist because of his curiosity, like my own, bringing him to groundbreaking art. Even though he wasn't appreciated until after his passing, he reminds me the importance of consistency leading to change eventually. Rembrandt, a Dutch Golden Age painter, printmaker, and draughtsman. Although never traveling overseas, Rembrandt grabbed inspiration from foreign artists, which inspires me because if he can grab inspiration from that far of a distance, with the resources back then, I have no excuse with the internet today. He also has his own style of writing and is creative on many notable works such as The Anatomy of Nikolai Tolp, a draughtsman, printmaker, and sculptor, but he's usually recognized as a painter. Henry Matisse is a blockbuster name in art and one of the very few artists with an influence that of a Pablo Picasso. One of, th of the things I can appreciate most about Henry is his multi-dimensional career. He had statues, paintings, and politics, which to me adds on to your legacy. I hope to achieve such a long career as Henry Matisse's span of five decades of work. Richard Wagner, known for his operas, he was a German composer, theater director, pulmacist, and conductor. Wagner is a very influential 19th century composer who left a strong, everlasting influence on film scores, and that is something I would hope to leave on any form of entertainment. Wagner also has a strong group of followers by the name of Wagnerians. German composer and pianist Beethoven remains one of the most admired composers in the history of Western music. His works rank among the most performed of the classical music history. And if you know anything at all about music history, you know Beethoven is synonymous with great pianists. I hope to achieve the lasting push Beethoven has left music with. If you want to talk about a hustling composer, a prolific and influential composer of the classical period, then you have to talk about Mozart. One of the greatest feats of the man is accomplishing over 800 works of every single genre around the world at his time. He was only 35 years old, which should lead one to think what would he have accomplished with double that time in this world. Miles Davis, another artist with a five decade long career. He's American trumpeter, band leader, and composer. He is among the most influential and acclaimed figures in the history of jazz and 20th century music. The thing that inspired me the most about Miles is the fact he was smart enough to drop out of school and follow his own path, something only a genius with the mind of a risk taker has the privilege of doing. Maxillian Herman, another great composer who had the opportunity of collaborating with Orson Welles and Alfred Hitchcock. Herman is still a prominent figure today and inspires me because he had the ability to do great things while carving out his own path through independent filmmaking. 
Herman will forever live on through film music. With over 150 original film scores, as well as scores from nearly 80 television productions, Elmer Bernstein has done more than enough to earn the attention of composers. Composing To Kill a Mockingbird, Ghostbusters, and Meatball, to name a few. Elmer Bernstein inspires me because I feel he truly loved what he did, otherwise he wouldn't have done it. When you take a look at Diane Arbus' work, it's hard not to get inspired. Diane Arbus is truly ahead of her time. She photographed a wide range of subjects and gave a different psychological perspective on many marginalized groups. Diane Arbus has a long impact on film many don't recognize. Ouija inspires me for the fact that he went out and made his own shorts, published his own books, ultimately earning the ability to collab with director Stanley Kubrick, showing way early on that you should pave your way and make your name a staple if you want to be held in the same reports as great such as a Stanley Kubrick. Ouija made normal people appear rock stars simply with black and white photos. I feel truly without knowing it, Ouija showed a way to so many people working on their own thing in show business. And that is my project. Thank you.